know when you were growing up, keeping in touch was a lot harder. And way less cool. But today, you probably have a smartphone. And you probably gave your teen your old phone or let them talk you into a family plan with new phones for everyone. Email, text, the family calendar. But with the convenience these devices provide, they also come with a bunch of privacy concerns. A phone can store tons of information on it. Text, emails, documents, social media profiles, personal contacts, photos. It seems like my whole life is in here. A phone's location services can help me keep track of what my friends are doing and let them know what I'm up to. But I don't want everyone to know that stuff. Plus, some apps link to a credit card or bank account for shopping. What I'm saying is, if you don't know how to protect this information, losing your phone could be a total headache. By now, you might be ready to ditch that smartphone. Or at least take it away from your team. But don't overreact. A few simple tips can help maintain privacy and put your mind at ease. First, be sure there's a password on the phone and that it's a good one. You should make it easy to remember but hard for people to guess. Not 1111 or your dog's name. Plus, be sure it doesn't get shared outside the family, not even with friends. Take the time to learn about location services and exactly what information they share. Figure out how to turn location sharing off and consider keeping it off most of the time. Some apps offer great privacy settings. Pick apps that let you control the info you share and take the time to learn those settings. Once you figure out how to protect your privacy, be sure to have a family discussion about it and go over the settings together. Smartphones can be fun and handy, but need to be used responsibly. For more digital parenting advice, visit foci.org parenting.